this particular suit of armor that the Japan Foundation has for loan, typically they use it for display instead of trying on. And this is a good example of a suit of armor that would have been produced maybe around the 1300s or so. And the way that you can tell that it's an older set is by this shoulder piece here. A long time ago, samurai started off as archers. They were mounted archers. And this type of large shoulder guard would help protect from arrows. However, later on when the soldiers switched from fighting on horseback to on the ground, having shoulder guards this large would impede motion that you needed to wield a sword. So later pieces of armor, you will see much smaller shoulder guards. This is a typical size that would have been on a suit of armor closer to the Warring States period in Japan, freeing up the samurai to fight without having these get in the way, but still offering protection. Now you have a great view of the back these shoulder guards, or the sode, as they're called, were so big to prevent them from flapping around and having a horrible wardrobe malfunction, they would have these elaborate tying systems so they wouldn't accidentally come forward and impede the samurai when they were shooting their bows and arrows. This is just to give you an idea of how it would have possibly looked.